So how often would you say to your practice, like, um, you know, what what does a day in the life look like for you? Like when you, you I'm sure you don't just pop right out of bed and say, you know what, I'm going to start mixing the day. But like, do you practice for like maybe an hour or do you do two hours, 30 minutes and you just, you know, just want to get a feel for it that day and then let it go? I mean, most of the time I practice like right after I get up. So I usually do like 30 minutes or so on each side, just working on different scratches or juggles. Or if I'm specifically working on a routine, then I work on that. And then also if I'm on Twitch, then that's also like performance plus practice for me. Okay. You know, because the, the dope thing about Twitch is that you really can just let the music take you where you want to go. Right. So you're not worried about like a dance floor, trying to keep everybody dancing. People are listening at work, chilling at home, cleaning the house. So you could really just be like, oh, well, if this sample, this song sampled this sample, so let's go down the sample train for a while. Or these songs sound the same, let's do this. And that's interesting as well, right. not just because you're not just trying to, you have a different focus than just, I got to have people dance. You just want to keep people listening. Right. So that's another way to have people listen. So, you know, that's another, and I, I like to use the ideas that sometimes get sparked on Twitch for my real DJing. So like in my Patreon, I just put out this Jill Scott pack where I took the instrumental of He Loves Me from Jill Scott. Mm -hmm. And I made like eight different edits of it because I thought they all sounded good. But that came from a moment on Twitch, a random moment on Twitch where I played He Loves Me and I used the stems to cut the vocal out. And then we, between me and the chat, we came up with like 30 different acapellas to go over that beat. Oh, to wow. see how they sounded okay. you know what i mean so that that was kind of like my creative playground for the day i took again out of those 30 i took eight of them the best ones and then made a patreon pack and so not only do i practice beforehand but i like using twitch as that creative outlet as well oh okay and, and speaking of twitch i mean i'm sure you kind of did like uh, most of the djs and stuff to hit it right when you know covid and everything happened but prior to that uh, were you mainly in clubs or uh, where, where was your main audience at? Yeah, just DJing events here in Milwaukee live in Chicago. So I mostly throw my own events here in Milwaukee. I okay. mean, I'll do like certain like spots or gigs every once in a while. But yeah, mostly I throw my own events or DJ like specific type of events here just because I can just control the setting myself you know what i'm saying i don't have to worry about a club owner caring about what i'm doing or telling me what to do so but yeah mostly djing i used to teach djing a lot i had a, a class called the scratch sessions here in milwaukee that i used to teach for some years done a lot of nonprofit work too like i said i was doing radio so i've been djing full time but just djing every everything that i've done is kind of centered around djing where it's teaching doing radio or like djing live and like clubs and events Oh wow! Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's what's up. And did you now? I, I do have a curious question now. How how about your background and some of this other stuff? Because I mean, your the display and everything that you use. I mean, you that takes you know computer knowledge. That takes you know engineering knowledge. Like you, I mean, you've got to know how to hook all this stuff up and make it all work. You know, was, was that a challenge for you? Is that something that was that you did as like a, a hobby? Well, if you ask me if I'm a nerd, then yes, I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I used to. No, real talk. No, no, it's all good. I used to be a computer engineer. Okay, I, okay. I used to be. A, so before I was DJing full time, I was a computer engineer full time. So okay. growing up, I was always into computers, technology and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, 2008 was when, uh, no, 2008 was when I started DJing. But I was still full time working my computer engineering job at that time. But then it was in, t in 2010 was when I quit engineering and then became a DJ full time. So, yeah, having that computer background for sure is helpful because yeah. it's a lot of stuff you got to, you know, figure out on Twitch. It's a yeah. lot of equipment you got to buy, like the, this, you know, my, you know, the graphics in the background, all that kind of stuff. It all adds to the experience. You want to make it all look good. So, so, yeah, so definitely is part of it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I was not trying to call you a nerd. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's but all what, good. what's fascinating? I am one. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> what's fascinating to me is like you know a lot of the guys who, um, you know, do like incredible jobs DJing and stuff like that. You know, I, I've found them on like a social media or, or on a Twitch or something like that, and they all have graphic design, some type of graphic design background. 
And I'm like, mm-hmm. is this like a thing? To, is it, do I need to, like, instead of me just being fully into DJ, should I just go and do some graphic design <laughs> courses? So Because yeah. this stuff is like, like, it took me all day today to pretty much put together like a montage of videos so I can have videos, you know, kind of repeating mm-hmm. and stuff in the back. That took me all day. All uh, hey, day. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. But, you know, some people, you know, there's a lot of people on Twitch who, you know, who do that full time, too. So you can pay them to make graphics for you and stuff like that. Okay. So a lot of people, you know, on Twitch, you have emotes, your own emojis for your own channel. People right. uh, pay other artists to make those or like I've I've actually made video backgrounds for other DJs and stuff like that. So um, for me, it's just kind of came out like this another creative outlet. Like I wanted my page to look a certain way. Right. And at first it didn't like, at first it looked super plain, just my camera and me and my DJ gear. Mm-hmm. But after a while I was just messing with stuff over and over and I just kept refining it until I found something that I liked and I thought looked pretty cool. So it takes a while. It can take a while, but yeah, there's definitely other people out there who you can pay to do it and you ain't got to even worry about it. So that's cool too. Awesome. Awesome. So what you're saying is hit you up after the show. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, I, <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. 